Right, hi guys, hope we're all good. Um, just to catch up on the last couple of weeks, well, I'm really, I'm not going to do a lot about last weekend, it's more this weekend just gone. Um, last weekend, fish the open at Rookery, uh, do four on uh, Crow, the newer lake, just the open strip, which has been a decent area, you need the MPEGs really, but still not a bad area. Um, and it's been awful, it was awful. I spoke about the weather coming good. Last weekend it went freezing cold again and it just wasn't good at all. The lake's full of, considering it's new, all the fish have bred already. It's full of little tiny carp like that, that live in that bottom end. People had already told me about that and not been that end. Um, and whatever I did, the fish weren't really feeding. I've just been pestered by them. Um, if I could have fished long on the pole with pellets, I think I might have caught an odd better fish, but couldn't, the wind was really bad. Um, whatever I did, short edge feeder, just caught them. Um, until the last hour when I caught a few better carp down the edge. I had 35 pound, 50 pound on the lake, so just needed a few fish during the middle of the day, but just couldn't get through the little carp. So that was a bit of a, not much to report. Uh, the Sunday I went to decoy on six islands. Um, drew peg four. Again, if it had stayed mild, it would be good. I, you remember I drew on there last year. Um, this sort of time of year when the weather was good, for one the match over two hundred pound. Very different day this time. Um, caught one short early, about five pound. Um, wind was terrible. Then gone down the edge. You got a nice long edge there. Um, had a 10 pound, a couple of F1s and a barbel for that sort of hour and a half and I've got one perch the rest of the match. The fish just completely went the other way. It fished all right up in the deep a bit, but with it being freezing, it's the coldest I've been all winter. Didn't even weigh in, I had 20 odd pound. Um, so yeah, bit of a waste of a weekend. This weekend just gone has been the two day winter final at uh, Rookery on, on Raven and Magpie. Uh, first day I've drawn four, uh, sorry, not four, 20 on Raven. Um, I haven't drawn the diagram, but it's just a horseshoe. 11's the flyer, um, and 18's also very good. I was on 20, the, they're the two corners. I was just onto the straight, peg 20. Um, my section started at 18 and went all the way down to 28. Um, I thought it'd be alright in all honesty, but it's just been dreadful. Um, the wind's been really, really bad again. Fish wanted to be in shallow water. It's, it's lovely and warm. Um, fish are definitely, like I've already said, moving into shallow water. Um, you couldn't fish across properly. Fished in three foot. A lot of people, that's been what a lot of people are caught in for two or three foot. I tried in two foot, never had a bite. Three foot, I've, I've waited an hour for a bite. Had a little F1. The next four hours I've managed two more little F1s, both fell hooked on the car. Um, just going nowhere. 18 was catching nothing, 15 was catching nothing, and then everyone else has been catching a few. It's just avoiding that area. I don't know why, really disappointing. The wind's dropped a little bit later on. I've gone like 16 metres off towards the fish. Uh, just tapping in maggots. Just trying to get a bite and a free cut and then it's gone so I've, I've gone for it put some meat in out there and i've had four more on that and then with 40 minutes to go they've sort of drifted off further back towards where all the fish were um and not had another fish the last 40 minutes um i felt they've been catching f1s then it hadn't been great outside the, the other side was better um but i thought with that little run of carp i just needed a couple more really frustrating um Especially when 22 has started catching on a top kit down his edge. Um, and I've fished long, a longer edge, like eight metres. Um, the wind was coming across me as well, so I couldn't fish long down the edge. Um, never had a bite there though. And come the way in, Peg, um, we've been the last three on the lake. 15's had 15 pound. 18, which is the peg I actually wanted to draw before the match. I thought that'd be really good there. He's had 20 pound, I've had 31. Mountain Next Door's had 38, and there's been a 32, a 36, and then MPEG's absolutely uh, annihilated. It's caught down the edge all day, 90 pound, won the lake. 
the other end peg, peg two, has been second with 80 pound. They've just followed the wind down that way because um, they're not normally pegs you pick particularly. Um, we've, so I've ended up fifth in the section, which is so it was the, the festival over in all fairness. Really annoying how close I've got in the end because I was miles behind. They've caught like just steady F1s during the day. My little runner cart caught them right up. In hindsight, like where the winds died a bit, I wish I'd have fished 16 metres down to 21's platform. Just primed it up with some meat um, and gone on it the last hour because I could fish it. The wind would have died so I could hold it long down there. Um, only wanted one more bite for another point or two points and two two more carp for a second in section. So frustrated. I was I come home and I was really frustrated in all honesty. Um, so I was really looking forward to that final and it, I was going into day two with with no not cutting else chance. Um, now day two I'll talk this is what I'm gonna talk about because this was a lot more interesting day. Um I've been on Magpie the second day. I've drawn, you remember I was on 30 the other week with the island, little island in front here, sort of here, 16 metres to that island. I've drawn opposite peg five, it's only 13 metres to the island. You're fishing exactly the same island, you're only a metre away from where I was fishing um, the other week. Hadn't been great the day before. Um, you've got no shallow water there and it's all about shallow water now. The, the fish, not catching a lot in deep water, they're, they're just coming in fish that want to feed are now sitting in that shallow water because the weather was really nice um, and like to the island you've got four and a half foot it's five foot down four and a half foot either side of the island and in front of the island five foot down the middle um, it's got a little cut out on a top five in the edge you've got about four foot there it is a little bit shallower um, and then down to four's platform it was deep in front of the platform. It was like uh, four, four, good four foot again. If I went right tight in, I had to sort of lean round to, to see me float. I could get in just under three foot. Wanted shallower really, um, but you, you've got to make the most of what you've got. Um, the day before, teammate Bruno had been had won the lake. Let's say he's been brilliant there, a winner. He'd drawn 19, the narrow peg, which had been dreadful, so I had a pound in the winter league. Um, but I knew it was going to be completely different. I said to him, he's got a chance there. With all the sun, it's only four foot down the middle. You can get across. Bruce! Sorry, the bin are just coming by. Bruce! No. Um, you've got two foot over and two foot in the edge. It was perfect. And he's won the lake with £105. Um, my peg had a £40 of F1s. Knew there's some F1s there. Bruce! No. Um, so yeah, I didn't take any maggots to my peg. I was only going for a max win or a late win. That's all I could go for. I've got nothing else to fish for. Um, you're up against it there. My section was all the way around here. Uh, better edge pegs. There's more fish in the open water there. So I knew I was up against it, so I had to be positive. So I've just took pellets and meat. Um, and I've just done some some four and six mil expanders, catalyst expanders, some two mil, um, soaked up some two mil catalysts for those micros to fish with expanders. Took some hard four mil catalysts uh, to ping over to the island. Then I've just took meat and hemp. Um, I was gonna fish meat short, throw it on a top four at the bottom of the shelf, throw it in that hole on a top five down the edge. And then a bit, something a bit different down in that uh, shallow, shallower edge. I've uh, put two tins of meat for a sausage grinder. We'll go into this. I'm going to do a video on this. I'll talk to you about it in a minute. So it makes it like a mush. Um, and I've mixed up a kilo of um, just milled expander. You put it for a riddle, and then I riddle it. Then I push that, mix it all together, and riddle it again. And it makes like this meaty, ground baity, mush, heavy thing. I was just going to cut that down there, down that edge. Um, so I've, I thought the first few hours of the match would be fishing for F1s in all honesty. Gone out to this point in the island, it's gone straight under with a 6 mil expander. I thought I'd try and get to carp early and I've caught, um, I've had a carp on it and then I've lost one. It's snagged me on a old bit of reed that's 
there's an old reed bed in that you can't see. Took me rig, so I've reset up again. Uh, had an F1 there, but it wasn't right. So I've moved to the middle, caught on F1, but there were clearly lots of F1s, lots of lines there, like actually in all the reeds in the middle of the line. Gone the other end, not caught anything. Um, so I've started pinging hard pellets to the middle. Um, and I've gone on that, I've had a little cart, two pound, four or five F1s. I've tried catching them shallow there because they were clearly off by a bit. I didn't want to know them. Just sat there sunning themselves. It was too deep. Um, so I've gone back to the point of the island um, where I caught the carp. And I've actually had a little run. I've had four carp there. They weren't massive, like three pounders, but decent run. Um, and then that's been it. Um, I had Ross Harold opposite on 30. He's fished maggots. He's caught a load of F1s early. Um, and loads of rudd. But we were both the same. After like two hours, we couldn't get a bite. Both started feeding our edges and stuff. It's not gone. Um, just kept. Um, I changed to fishing meat out there on a light rig, but no bites. Uh, I knew I needed the edge to go basically. So I've, I've set a big cup in the meat mix, like half a big cup of meat mix, down in that edge. Started to get a few indications, but. It wasn't right, and then all of a sudden, with two hours to go, it's completely changed. Like I've gone in and it's just buried. Um, and I've had six or seven, like as soon as I could get in, it was brilliant. Uh, and then it's gone a bit funny, big cup tip. I've gone in the other edge, had a couple there that was nowhere near as good. Like I say, it was deeper water, they just don't want the deep water. Um, so it's back in that edge, in the shallower edge, and I've had, had a three or four more, it was good, and then. Then it's just gone all funny again. It was getting really warm by now, and you just needed. I needed to get in two foot, and I hadn't got it. Um, and I've caught a couple more, but it wasn't right. And then the last sort of thirty minutes, the sun's started to go in. We fished till four. It's just got that bit cooler, and all of a sudden it's been back to proper bites. Um, and I've had six more in the last half hour. Um, I thought Ross had, Ross had had a really good run down his edge. He'd got a bit shallow water and. He didn't catch there straight away, but like I had a good start on him, but then he's caught consistently through to the end. He slowed up a bit at the end, where they've moved back into that little bit deeper, and I've caught. Um, I thought he'd absolutely annihilated me, but come the way in, I've had £138, which won the lake, so got got the, the lake money, which is what, all I was there for. Um, Ross had £100, I thought he'd got a lot more than that, he was second. Um, Come, uh, I'll just go into the rig, stepped everything up for this one. I, there was no messing around. Fish 14 to 16 slick for a short kit. Um, 017 main line, like a proper like mud liney rig. Um, really, really short line, because I had such a little short bit of water to fish on before it deepened off. I've literally had like a four inch lash, just so I could hold it dead still. Six then breaks down the line, a four inch hook length of 015. And I used the 14 MXC1, which was, a, I've had no problems with it. I had one straighten out, like in the net where it wasn't quite properly and it's thrashed around. But other than that, it was just right. Uh, just fishing a six mil bit of meat. And it was amazing how quickly they were coming in. Like when you went down there, you put a large toss pot full of this meat mix. And you, you lower, you, like say, you weren't tapping it in. You're putting a pole under the water and letting it pull out. And you get a bite instantly they'd be moving instantly and then you wouldn't get anything and so you had to keep if you didn't get a bite within like two minutes you had to ship out ship in fill it up and start the process again same if you missed the bite or you had a, a liner and you could see it had gone out the swim it was the same again so you were really busy and it was really good now come the overall way uh results the first day really come back to bite me in the ass um <sighs> They paid the top six in the final, and fifth, uh, sixth, fifth, and fourth have all had five points. I ended on six points. I had a far superior weight, even though I'd only had thirty pound the first day, because I caught the big weight the second day. Uh, so I needed another pound to have got fourth, um, with another six pound the first day. I'd have been third um, with four points and a better weight. I couldn't have got, Ross was second in the end, he'd won the lake, he'd been on the MPEG the first day, uh, 28, had £90, then he's had £100 the second day, so he's had £190, I couldn't have really got close to that, I'd have needed 
like 150, I'd have needed 50 pound on Raven and I don't, the peg wasn't worth 50 pound. Um, Bruno has absolutely smashed it out of the park. He's drawn, he, when, it, when your luck's in, your luck is, when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Um, we sat having breakfast and people were going up and drawing and I, I went up and had a look and I said to him, there's only two pegs left. You either have got 11, the flyer, or peg two, the other, which is the other flyer. Two pegs you'd pick out of anything. And he's drawn 11. Um, could fish his peg properly. There was no win like the day before. And he's just caught. He's had a hundred pound on hard pellets at 16 meters. Um, like there's a spinner there and just tapping pellets in there. And then he's had 50 pound down the edge. He's had 154 pound. He's actually won the match both days. Really pleased for him. Like I say, he's been brilliant there all winter. He got beat the last minute for the league, literally the last minute of the league for the league, come second. So I was glad, really glad he won that. Fair play to him. Um, but it was just lovely. The fish are starting to wake up now. You could see that. There was some caught mugging and you're catching in your edges in shallow water. It is fine. We, this is after we had frost both days as well, but it was still really, really good um, that second day. I think. Barring two people, everyone's had £70 or more on Magpie. Uh, they've all had like 70 to 80 and then there's been the £100 and my 140 So, fantastic to see everywhere kicking off. Um, this weekend, I've only got the one match. I've, um, I'm just helping my dad out with a little job. Um, he does like resin driveways on the, as a little thing. Uh, a weekend sometimes, not very often. Um, but he's got one this weekend, so I'm doing that for him Saturday. It's good money, good cash, that I'll just pay for a few more events I've got to get paid off. So I'm dipping into the bank. Um, yeah, Sunday I'm at Decoy. There's an open on Beastie. I think that'll be really good. There'll be loads of edge fish and shallow fishing, I think, because it's going to be warm all week. Again, the fish aren't in them deeper water now. You're either catching shallow. Not Well, we haven't done yet, but we will do. This weekend there'll be some shallow fish. Or, um, or in the shallower margins. Um, and there'll be some fish on the feeder as well. Week after, I've not got nothing on. I'm actually going out some... Um, I'm going raving, of all things. Uh, anyone that knows me knows you like my uh, dance music. Not been out for years doing that sort of thing. There's a one-off thing, daytime thing. I've got that, so I should probably be very drunk. Um, and we've got a hotel, so I won't be... Uh, fishing next week and then the qualifiers start so earning myself a couple of brownie points loads of qualifiers and everything but commercial national coming up loads of festivals um it's good the weather's picking up I, I've, I'm, I've just been i try not to be and i'm always positive and doing all my kit but i have been a bit down with the fishing the last couple of weeks few weeks it's the worst one i can ever remember and the, the fishing this winter Everyone said it has just been rubbish. Um, the fish have been really balled up, worse than ever, because changing all the rain and then cold and then warmer days, they don't know what's going on. You need to set up weather and it's not been... Um, just not had that luck of a draw since I went on holiday. Just had a terrible year with everything. Um, I'd say, with, with all the tooth and the COVID and the van and everything, just had a bad run. Staying positive, but it, it was beginning to get me, and Saturday really annoyed me. Lost my faith in uh, fishing, but Sunday completely restored it. I don't really, really enjoyed that. It was nice that it wasn't. It didn't. It wasn't about the draw so much. It was about getting things right, um, and which did. And I've had a lovely day. Uh, so onwards and upwards. Now there'll be loads to start reporting on. Like I said there won't be a lot. I'll do a decoy this week. There won't be anything the week after. Um, let me know what videos you want doing on a Wednesday, like your tips videos. I'm on nights the next tonight and tomorrow, so and then I've got Wednesday off, so I've got time to do some stuff. Uh, the one I want to get done, I'm going to get on with doing some uh, kit again in a minute. Uh, but the one I'm going to get done this week is just going back over meat fishing. It's something I get asked a lot about still. Not not rigs and things like that. I'm not. We might maybe briefly I want to do the sort of feeding and the advanced side of it because there's loads of different ways of preparing and feeding sadly I'm not going to be able to do it all um, 
prep them all up. I don't want to waste lots and lots of meat, basically. Uh, I might get a couple of tins out and do it, um, but I'm not going to be doing it in any amount. I just want to show you it all. Um, so we're going to do, I'm going to call it advanced meat fishing. That will be up Wednesday. I'm going to record that tomorrow when I get up. That'll be Wednesday's video for you. Uh, thanks for all the kind words. Still keep getting loads of lovely messages and seeing people out on the bank. Even got stopped in the street the other day. I felt quite famous, uh, which was lovely. So thank you all for that. Um, and I will um, I'll get that video up for you Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Speak to you soon.